Aloha, this is Paula Brown. I'm a heartist. My business is called Chilightful. And I'm a quick sketch artist and a purpose coach who finds the heart or the essence of things so you can communicate that to your clan, your tribe, and everybody can be on the same page. And uh, it's really a lot of fun. And today I have the wonderful opportunity to have Lorenzo Hickey of Shapeshift World on with me. Hi, Lorenzo. Hey, good morning, Paul. It's great to be with you again. Yeah, Lorenzo and I have been doing a little bit of work. He's been putting together a wonderful, wonderful business that really jump starts businesses for people. He, um, he elevates your awareness so you can have and be aware of building your business from your brand, your values, and your purpose. And Lorenzo is a techno genius. And he helps, he's in the shapeshift world. He builds partnerships. He builds all sorts of neat things. He builds your lists. He's, um, he's the go-to guy for people like me who need to really flush out their business and use their brand values. He's very, very keen on um, giving you people and partners that can help you find that focus. And that's where I came in. And so yeah. Lorenzo and I were finding focus for his shapeshift world. And you should check it out. You can find him at www.shapeshiftworld.com. And the whole idea is to shift your awareness and to shape your world and your business world. And you must do that. Um, now's the time to do it. And we did a sketch quest. And we found out some of his brand values and where he really wanted to be. He has so much to offer. We wanted to find a focus. And that focus was really the interior of Lorenzo and his values and based on all sorts of wonderful tools that he had already used. And then we went from the sketch quest into illustrating uh, four key frames. So he could use these illustrations in his talks so he could tell and show people what shape shift world is so he could find his focus and get everybody on the same page. So Lorenzo, what I'm going to do is have you talk a little bit about shape shift and then we're going to share what we did together and how you're using it. Sounds great. Look forward to it. So yeah. So first of all, thank you again for, for allowing me to be part of your world and your community. And thank you for the work that you've done. It's been amazing. So we'll talk more about that in a bit. Um, but Shapeshift World really is a, a company that's designed to help people bring their business to life. And we know that 50% of businesses will be out of business in three to five years. So our job, our mantra, our mission, our movement is to keep you in business. And so that what we do is a simple sort of value statement is we say, you do what you do best and we'll do the rest. And literally, it's a way to integrate your resources with our resources and say, how do we support you and elevate you, as Paula alluded to, into the space that you need to be. So the relationship with Paula and I and the work that she does is perfect because not only does she do it for myself and our business, but other businesses, because at the end of the day, transparency is the new currency. So you need to be really clear on who you are. And this imagery that you're going to see I believe speaks volumes and it does speak from my heart, which is what you're able to extract. So the beauty of your work is you really are soulful. Oh, thank you so much. I like that transparency is the new currency. I'm going to use that. And so with that, I want to share what Lorenzo and I did with, um, you know, his thoughts on how he wanted to present his company and how to illustrate that out for other people. Right. So let's share. Let's see. Okay. Yay, we've got the first frame up, which Lorenzo wanted to state his values and what, you know, values people got when they entered the shape shift world. So Lorenzo, talk away. Yeah, so first and foremost, um, Paul did a great job of capturing what we wanted to, to, to per, uh, really communicate. And that is eventually when you come into shape shift world, you have a place that's considered home. Right. Because at the end of the day, it's how we support you and how you support us. So it's a really wonderful bi-directional view. So if you look at the arch and, and the center stones and the value statements, you're really allowing yourself to step into our home. But if you're at our home, you're actually allowed to come back out and show to the rest of the world how you can live and follow in the similar footsteps. So it is a wonderful picture of something that she asked me. What is your uh, uh, sort of your end goal? My end goal is to have a place for people to start their business, grow their business, and 
deliver their business in a marketplace that we're going to create called the Elevate Marketplace. So it's just a wonderful depiction of the imagery that we needed to see. And once in color, wow, it just pops, right? So you can see all the different vivid pieces and the elements, um, the waterfalls, the colors, it's just brilliant. And so um, gathering this up was the first piece, but then making it come to life with color was the second piece. So um, yeah. It took a little bit of time to really get focused on all the elements that he had, but the foundation of what Shapeshift World does is find deeper self-love so you can express yourself and the welcome of um, the love of the partnerships you have with Lorenzo's company and other companies. And so the second one that we flushed out from the sketch quest was this map. The map is really, really cool. and this is like, this is to show people the journey of, um, that they could take and the different possibilities between themselves and uh, Shapeshift World. Yeah, so thanks, Paul. So what was great about this, I mean, this is, you know, Paul's creativity coming to life, which again was awesome, because I would talk about all these things that we do and the steps that you take, but she was able to put it into a really wonderful, wonderful illustration. And we use this everywhere. So what we <laughs> talk about this is the journey map. And, and what's really important is, is part of the conversation that Paul and I had is over the last four years, I have taken a very uh, strong, active role in creating my own transformation. And in doing that transformation, I went through a series of steps. And those series of steps, in effect, are outlined here for both personal and business. So it makes this a wonderful conversation point for every, every workshop we do, everywhere we go. This will be on our website shortly. Um, is how do you see yourself and where are you on your journey? Because we take multiple journeys in our lifetime, right? We take multiple yeah. steps. And so where this allows us to, as a conversation point, is like, where do you think you are on your journey, your personal journey or your business journey? So it's just been a brilliant opportunity and everybody loves a step-by-step process. So this speaks to what we call bank code, which is something I'm going to talk to Paul about later, which is <laughs> who are you and how do you show up? Well, you show up as either a blueprint person, which is somebody who takes a step-by-step process or an action person like me who says, let's just go get this done and we'll figure out how to solve for it as we move along. Or a nurturing person, which certainly Paula is nurture, or a knowledge person who says, I've got all this knowledge, I gotta figure out how to share that differently. So this speaks to all of those different codes that we use in what we call bank, but more importantly, this allows us to have a wonderful conversation from the get-go. So it's just been a brilliant tool. Thanks. I love doing little maps of progress and processes. And then I'm a artist and so is uh, Lorenzo, it looks like, because he uses a lot of his own key value tools. And so um, he he bases it all on his values. So um, we came up with this during the sketch quest and we turned it into color so he could use it everywhere. Yeah. So this is a great one for a lot of reasons, but, but first and foremost is because our business was initially designed and built as a heart-based business. So it sounds kind of funny in today's old technology, old paradigms, but in the new paradigm is we're here to serve and a, a company that's here to serve and make a difference for others. It really changes the way people see you and interact with you. And so this is also, and in, in Paul knows about hands analysis, which we do and which I've done. And I'm school of love. So one of the things, school of knowledge, a school of wisdom. So I'm all about love. And so this is a perfect example of her extracting my personality and putting it in a way that talks about our cornerstones, which is truth and trust, right? So we want to create a trusted and a truthful relationship with our clients. But, but then inside of that heart, there are all these different gears and these different things that we do. So it's like, what a great container to write to illustrate how we work with you because we know that that your business has different skills different resources so this allows us to have that conversation which says hey we don't force you into a box we force you into a framework of what we call best practices and we work together to give you the results so this is a great way to say yep think about who we are first for heart-based business secondly we have lots of cool tools which ones are going to work for you based on what i call your business maturity because yeah. if you're a startup versus a, a growing company or some of my former bank, Fortune 100 banks, they're big. So yep. we need to figure out where you are. So we've used this all the time as well. That's, great, yeah, that's great. Yeah, because um, the, the challenge for Lorenzo and myself was to find uh, focus and clarity in a small message that people could, you know, 
you, he could communicate instantly and then talk about. So by having this type of illustration, um, it really saw, it really got a solution for Shapeshift World so he could actually talk when people, you know, they'd carry away the same message through the visual. Right. And so Absolutely. zipping along, I love this one. He <laughs> says, you know, we take a baseline x-ray and I went, oh my gosh, that's great. I've got to use that somehow. And yeah. then then we went straight for the heart and this is like this is this is lorenzo's talent and it's also my talent is to find the focus of the heart of the issue and then speak it with quick clarity and that's what lorenzo does with these illustrations and that's how i helped lorenzo so mm -hmm. i just love this one i love the skeleton with the heart <laughs> yeah, the the fundamental piece of, of this x-ray was um, when we work with a client and we use these different modalities, I just talked about bank. I mentioned human design. I will mention human design now. I talked about hand analysis. We use all these different modalities that are very quick and easy for us to understand more about who you are from the inside out. And so at the end of the day, part of our journey as we step into that journey map is what, who are you as an individual, right? How, how can we understand you more clearly so that we can help guide you in a way that's aligned with your heart, that's aligned with your soul. And so this is part of our essence. And so this, uh, this baseline x-ray was, was hysterically fun because it Paula did a great job of leaning into all the things that we need to do to understand you at the same time, put it in a visual that makes sense. Like, Hey, we just want to know who you are from the inside out. So this is a brilliant tool. We talk about it every day, everything that we do, uh, everybody that touches us, we, we get to know who you are. And hopefully out of full respect and, and to honor you and, and honor your, your individual re reason for being on, on this earth, right? Because we know that we're here for, for higher calling. So we use this in a, in a fun way, but also in a way to be serious about how we can help. Yeah, and these illustrations help Lorenzo sort of pry open that little oyster shell that people sh slam shut because they're so afraid of, of, of showing who they are. And it's really important in business now um, in the new paradigm that we're all going through and the shift that the community is going through to express that. And so the challenge for both Lorenzo and I was to get some sort of unintimidating communication, a picture storytelling so that would open the door and relax people to have a, a deeper conversation about them and their business. You know, sometimes people don't want to reveal things about their business. And these illustrations seem to open the door in a polite way. And so that's number four, but um, I'm going to stop the share for a second here. And uh, Lorenzo, it's just, it's amazing to work with you because we have, we really have the same sort of mission and values and we kind of match up with human design and all that good stuff too so we found a lot in common so i really respect lorenzo's um diligence and determination to build businesses i mean it this guy's for real guys you know he really is um i've i've known him for a uh i feel like a long time since we did a sketch quest and these are part of my products, the sketch quest, the why quest, the purpose quest, and the brand quest. So we talked a little bit about the brand and it was kind of a fun thing. Um, this, I just, I was, it, Lorenzo was delightful to work with and I hope you reach out for him. And uh, Lorenzo, what type of value have, have these illustrations proven for your company and yourself? You know, as you were speaking so kindly, and I appreciate that very much, it, it, one of the things, and this is for, for everybody that's listening and, and, and be understand, your number one thing you can do for yourself is, is a level of due diligence, because there's a lot of sayers out there that say, oh, we can do this, we can do that. And what Paula's saying, and I'm very grateful for the words, is we actually mean what we say. You know, we actually step up and follow up. Not everything's going to be perfect, but the reality is we'll do the right thing. We'll figure things out. We're here to serve. So it's really important, and that's the same message that I would share with, about Paula, right? She really has done a great job of sharing with us, serving our, our organization, and extracting the information out of, out of me because I didn't understand what I didn't know, right? So she's beautiful at that. Um, but I want to say this, this couple more things. One is the process that we went through to get to this place 
was one of the most engaging processes I've gone through in, in my entire lifetime, but certainly in the last two years of building this company. Now I've gone through soul work to get the naming conventions. I've gone through a lot of, you know, different components, but this is the work that brings the, the information to life. And that's why it's so, so palpable, right? It's so amazing because it's to be able to take this massive vision that I have and bring it down into a way that's, that's acceptable, understandable and visual. So that work, that body of work, if you have a company that needs that, seriously, people, you need to talk to Paula because the process takes you down the right step. So this is a bit of a love fest, but it's also because <laughs> we see value in what we've shared with each other and it's been terrific. So that's really important to me is that people understand. And the second part about being visible and about who you are and how you show up and transparency is a new currency, this is your way to create pictures, because we know pictures are worth a thousand words, mm -hmm. right? to create pictures and imagery that can allow you to share your story. And we are in the storytelling model. We are a storytelling paradigm. So all of the work that Paula does has helped us and has continued to help us. So as I'm talking today, I'm thinking, oh, I gotta do this and this and this because I need to repurpose and reuse these pictures differently in some of our messaging and some of our pillars. So. Again, I'm yeah. very grateful for your work. It was an extraordinary experience. It was very clarifying for me mm -hmm. as we went through the process. And that's really the core message is if you need clarity for yourself and branding or personality or vision or your sketch quest process, then start this journey because it's been a wonderful journey with Paula. I really, really appreciate you. Uh, well, thank you, Lorenzo. And it's like, it's so simple, but it's so... Um, it's it's like the it's like the ketchup bottle in the refrigerator. You know, you you take you take for granted your your true um, story, mm -hmm. and once you see it, once it's in pictures, see you in the pictures. Um, right. It's it's picture storytelling about all the communications that you blah 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 out there and right 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 right. But it's picture storytelling that really makes it come alive. And so you can use it as a touchstone. You can get your whole tribe into clarity and on the same page and quickly. I mean, a picture processes information 60,000 times faster than a word. And so it really is helpful in our, you know, time crunch right. environment. And it just, it really helps you keep focused yourself because you've got so many things and then it draws you back saying, okay, this is the one thing. Uh, what's the picture telling the story? So, you know, it's like you can tell your story, but you can really flush it out with pictures like Lorenzo did. And from his comments, from his meetings and workshops, they've, they've been, it, it's been fun. And I'm so glad to be part of the fun because you got to have fun too. So, Absolutely. You know, part of that journey. Enjoy it. Yeah. So I want to tell you how to get a hold of Lorenzo really quick. So I'm going to share his information yeah. up if I can find it. There it is. Um, you can get a hold of Lorenzo. There's his phone number. So call him up. Yes. I know. <laughs> Check it out. Everyone, everyone's giving their personal cell phones out these days. I um, know. And um, really do check out his new website. It's it's a lot of fun. He's got so many things to offer and so many aspects to offer in Shapeshift World. And um, then I'm going to share my little um, offering. I'm technically challenged like Lorenzo knows. So, <laughs> say, all of you sent this to me in advance. I give you, a, you know, all the pages <laughs> together. But uh, yes, absolutely. So that's me. I'm Paula Brown from Chilightful. I'm a hardest. I ignite your story, your energy, and well being so other people can ignite their stories and their purpose and follow along on your bandwagon. And there's all my wonderful, wonderful websites. You can get a hold of me at www.chilightful.com and just see the pictures at picturestorming.com. And, uh, you know, I do sketch quests, why quests? I do quests. So, you know, Lorenz was always talking about his journey. I put that journey into pictures. So it's, it's just been so much fun talking with you, Lorenzo. And, oh, I want to be part of Shapeshift World. So... <laughs> It is coming. Marketplace is coming this year, and I, I look forward to uh, those next levels of discussions. Yeah, Good. So. You know, I just, I, I really love doing the work for you, Lorenzo, and right now I'm going to say 
Aloha. And I will be talking with you all soon. And thank you so much, Lorenzo. I appreciate you being a partner with me. And uh, wish you all the luck in the world and mahalo. Ah. Hello. Hello.